everyone's doing well happy and healthy so today i have another very important video um it is connected to the video before uh where i talked about my labor and delivery story um so there's a one very important information i did not mention there because i knew video is going to be very long it was hypnobirthing not sure how many of you know about hypnobirthing but hypnobirthing is like very relaxing uh technique where you are basically training your mind to be positive uh calm and basically it's like i feel like it's more like meditation so basically i heard about hypnobirthing through the app called peanut i told you guys last time in my video that peanut is the app that i started using while i was um i think um six weeks pregnant or something um i found out somehow about it because i was looking for some sources you can have a lot of information and hypno i found like another lady who was using hypnobirthing technique and she mentioned me unfortunately for me it was too late to buy the package for hypnobirthing because it was very expensive i did not want to waste money you know i have no idea and anything so i did a lot of research a lot of i watched online videos um you can find some tracks on youtube as well but i think it's way way better if you uh, buy the whole package and watch the videos um, I guess in order um, So basically I did I downloaded the app and I watched uh, YouTube videos. All it does is uh, place tracks for you um, Like positive affirmations tells you your body can do this um, Your body is made to you know give births and all the, the all those neg uh, positive things not negative uh, I was gonna say negative <laughs> so it basically is designed uh to train your mind um in a way that you will be you you know you will have no fear and you will in good spirit by the time uh you go to delivery um i would highly recommend it start um i don't know literally after week 20 um as soon as you know things are confirmed and everything um i'm not sure if they provide you any time period but I literally started in week 37 and I delivered on uh, exactly week 40 on my due date um, so for me it was little no actually not week 37 I actually started listening the tracks um, on week 38 um, so the reason I wanted to talk about hypnobirthing because I know a lot of um, first-time moms have so much fear um, about giving birth they're not as much concerned about uh, I think the whole uh, labor or the you know whole nine months that uh, they're more concerned about giving a birth um, I don't know it's funny for me my concern was not at all um, like I was not afraid uh, to go in uh, delivery at all labor and delivery I think I'm not because I was listening the tracks we were before I my mind was set that I want to be positive my only concern was um going to hospital doing different things i hate interventions i do not like the idea of accepting all the things the doctors are offering you i do not like to go to hospitals i do not like to <laughs> visit doctors anyways uh i just wanted to see how the hypnobirthing tracks go uh, the hypnobirthing tracks offer you i think um a breathing techniques that is the one thing i did every night um since from week 38 i would just before i go to bed I would just do my breathing practicing um they do the j breathing um where you um you know um take a lot take a breath through your nose and just take it out through your mouth like as if you are making a j um so i did that and that i tell you helped a lot uh like in the beginning of my delivery uh, you know labor uh, process um and then i did um basically i would just put like earphones um and then you know turn on one of the track and just go to sleep um, basically I just wanted to have the last thing in my mind before I go to bed is something positive so this is what I did like literally every single uh, night since from week 38 I tell you it is really guys if you're a first-time mom please look into it hypnobirthing you can listen to anything you want you can have um, it doesn't have to be like exactly exactly hypnobirthing do meditation or if you cannot afford hypnobirthing obviously you can do other things which are basically the point is to relax your mind and train your breathing patterns i think that's what it is um as far as i understood it um so do look into it if you are a first time mom um without breathing i tell you you cannot move forward easily 
because breathing is very important uh, when you breathe out you're basically you know you're, you're releasing all the tension that your muscles you know you're that you're holding your clenched fist everything um, so I did that very well until I was four centimeter dilated even though I knew I'm terrible with pains guys but my whole experience went pretty well I think until I went to hospital and then the, you know things started more moving very fast and all that I I think I could have done it if without epidural as well if I was more trained into hypnobirthing I really feel that way not that it it matters anything that my whole experience went well you know that would matters and I have a healthy baby but that's not what I wanted I did not want it a medicated birth I wanted unmedicated birth I was relying on basically my experience of hypnobirthing so talking to the women who already gave birth they said this is too late I did not train it fully I did not train my mind fully I did not train my breathing fully but whatever I did I can tell you um, from my personal experience hypnobirthing is a magic guys you do not have to buy any package or anything obviously i did personally did not buy i just bought like one app online obviously i do not want to recommend anything uh, personally but do look and uh, go to google um, app store or your um, i don't know what is it called in apple but play store and app store i think yeah so go to app store and play store in your phones and look for the apps for hypnobirthing try a couple of apps first the free ones and if you really like something then you can buy one app and basically for breathing i downloaded in a separate app it was a free app um it was basically play like a rain sound play like a nice relaxing sound and it would just um ask me to breathe in breathe out and then slowly it will increase the time like it will increase the time for me to breathe 20 seconds and then let it out for test 10 seconds breathe in for five seconds and let it out for two seconds something like that um, the time they kept increasing and I was by the end of it I got pretty good I was able to breathe in fully it just like letting go in my lungs and let it out through my mouth that's very important you you breathe through your mouth like this and let it out fully through your through your mouth and there's another one uh, where um, you basically make sounds um I, I forgot what channel i was watching but she's some midwife and uh, she actually was teaching how you can it's like mu sound or something i forgot about that sorry i don't want to like go into that because i'm not exactly 100 percent sure but you like you're focusing so much on your breathing that you're making a sound like mu sound mm, it's like your whole body is resonating when you're making a sound um i think that was very helpful to me as well i could not go fully unmedicated but i can tell you where it helped me the most i was very calm like i was not scared um i know even before i was not scared of the labor and delivery part but then the day it came i was i was fully calm even though pain was bothering me and everything but i was not like oh i'm like losing my mind or anything that was not the case and i thank god for it um, like, oh gosh the sun ah oh. like a first time mom i highly recommend um do some kind of hypnobirthing trainings where you can uh, relax and do your breathing practices and basically when the day arrives you're not freaking out this is not what you want this is the last thing you want because when you're freaking out your body is stressed things can go south that's not what you want if you are strong enough you don't need even hypnobirthing your brain is like willing to do things on its own um so do something that is going to help you i would highly recommend hypnobirthing because that's what was my experience even though i did it very late in the process i would still uh, i would still say that it was worth it guys so for first time moms guys do your hypnobirthing um, one thing i'm not sure if it's related to hypnobirthing or not but i would say um like my postpartum went very nice as well i did not feel any pain I know they say when you're breastfeeding you basically feel pain of your uterus contracting i'm not sure if it's more applies to second time moms but um for me i did not feel anything related to postpartum i know a lot of women say that they are more concerned about postpartum as well my postpartum was very easy guys um i think it has to do a little bit with hypnobirthing as well because my mind was fully relaxed um like i know like you know when i'm going to have periods i have like pain and ah oh, it bothers me you know like it's so funny like period pain bothers me more than the actual pain bothered me like until i was five centimeter i felt the cramps and everything um but i would not say 
the pain bothered me maybe because my brain is releasing so much oxytocin and i know that um the outcome of this pain is very you know going to be uh, pleasant i guess that's why um i wasn't concerned about it, anything i knew i all all i wanted was like my baby comes out healthy and i am fine that was my main concern you know, i did not go in very depth on this video but i just wanted to like you know um touch up the concept of hypnobirthing and i wanted to introduce to all the other new moms too if you guys haven't you know consider it please do consider hypnobirthing i'm sure your experience would be better than mine um if you have any questions or you wanted to have any concerns comments anything let me know in the comment section below and i would be happy to answer it. so yeah guys uh, do not uh, fear your birth that is my main advice and i'm telling you hypnobirthing and meditation would really really help you all. this is all i wanted to say and best of luck for all the new moms you guys would do great and have a great day bye bye